Hey, this is Evan from Octane Electrons. I'm going to do a quick video here showing you the DN606 OBD2 uh, scanner, CAN bus scanner. Um, this one's pretty cool. So you can see, if you see my channel, I do, I look at a lot of these OBD scanners. I like them. Um, and this one's pretty cool because of the live data plotting that it'll do. That's kind of the main thing that I think sets it apart from other units. Um, so we'll look at it in the truck. We'll show you more than... Uh, this here, but we'll see what it comes with. We have our serial cable uh, to OBD port cable, have a USB plug uh, for updating the unit, and we have the unit itself. Um, I like it, it's really nice build quality. So you can see it's serialized, has a nice label, really nice rubberized coating, uh, covering on it, a case I guess you call it. Um, nice screen and power and data leds and then selection buttons over here so there's usb port down there our serial port so yeah really like initial thoughts are it's a really nicely built unit it doesn't feel cheap in any way it's like really fairly heavy um and nice uh covering and case and all so yeah looks good in the box but let's go get it plugged in the truck and go through the menus and see how it works Okay, so here we go. We're in my truck, a 2007 uh, F-150 Ford. And I've got the unit, the cable plugged into the unit. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can even capture any of it. Probably not. But get the OBD2 cable plugged in. Right, so boot up screen, system is verifying. Dinos logo. Okay, so here we go at the menu. Now, sorry, I know the lighting is not great. It's already getting kind of dark here, so I'm going to do the best I can to capture all this. So we got diagnose, settings, help. Trouble code library, tool information, upgrade information. Don't really need any of that. Go back. See what settings look like. Language, units of measure, beep, and record mode. I don't need any of those. Okay. Let's do a diagnose. Uh, let me turn my key on here. Turn off my climate controls. Okay. So let's see. OBD2, scan and review. Review. Okay, I don't think we have anything yet since it's not connected. Let's see what scan does. Ford, Australia Ford, Euro Ford. USA Ford, okay. Version 14, okay. I haven't updated the unit yet, so I'm assuming this is right. So, sorry. Automatic search. Let's see. Meet any problems during the test seeing the following ID. Okay, let's see. Automatic. Oh, it must already be connected. It's scanning the various modules now. Powertrain, hit 4x4, restraint control. and get you a better view with less glare. Okay, so here's where we can see all the modules. Let's see if powertrain, I don't think I should have any codes here, but we'll see. On-demand self-test, key on engine running, continuous memory. No, nope, nothing there. Key on engine off demand test. Let's see. I don't know what that'll do. Hmm. Don't seem to have any codes. Four by four control module. Read fault data. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything with those. Okay, let's go back. 
I don't want to go back home. I guess keep backing out. So we'll use OBD2, and it should try a bunch of different protocols until it connects. So I'm not totally sure what the difference between the OBD2 mode and the, that scan mode is. That's interesting. Okay. We have one readiness test not completed. I wonder what that is. Confirm. Let's see, read codes, no fault codes. Monitor readiness. Since the last time my codes were cleared, all my emissions codes are okay. Onboard monitoring. So I believe, let me go ahead and start the car. This is where, I looked at this a little bit earlier. This is where you can read and plot live data that I thought was pretty cool. So let's look. Yeah, I don't think I have any misfires. Oh, that is not the live data. Okay. Data stream, view all items. And that's not the plot, but that's showing me live data. Oh, here we go, view graphic items. This is, I think, what I was interested in. Let's look at engine coolant temp. Select, confirm, there we go. Yeah, very cool. 45 degrees. Okay, so view graphic items. It looks like you can select multiple items to plot with the yellow button here. So let's look at fuel trim bank one, fuel trim bank two, confirm. Yeah, cool. There we go. It's plotting yellow and red, two different lines showing me the fuel trims for both banks at the same time. That's pretty cool. So I think, you know, the OBD2 scan codes and all, that's, you know, pretty typical. Most units do that. I have not seen another unit that will let you select individual parameters like this um, and plot them in a live data stream. That could be really useful if you're trying to diagnose a misfire on one cylinder or something. So let me select engine RPM. Let's see. Ignition timing advance. We'll set that. And sure. Absolute throttle position. Let's plot those. That's cool. Okay, RPM is red. Spark advance is white. Throttle position is blue. So I can see RPM 730 or so idling. Spark advance 15 to 17 degrees is being live adjusted right now for idle control and 15% throttle position so that's cool check that out so there I am increasing throttle position up to 25% or so RPM is showing on the plot spark advance is showing yeah very cool so anyways, I really like that. That's what sets this unit apart, the selectable data stream monitors that you can live plot here. This could be really useful if you're trying to diagnose a timing issue um, or throttle position or whatever. So on a newer car, um, you know, it's like, I don't have many problems. This truck has like 25,000 miles on it. It's never has any issues. But my, like, so I'm thinking my old Falcon, I have Holly fuel injection on and I do similar stuff when I'm trying to troubleshoot my fuel injection and my ignition timing is controlled by my EFI computer. Um, I use tools like this all the time on that car that's built into the Holly system that you can live stream to your um, laptop. And when I'm trying to troubleshoot uh, timing control and fueling issues, being able to plot stuff like this, throttle position, spark advance, RPM, um, 
coolant temp to see if you're in an enrichment loop, like all that kind of stuff is really crucial trying to troubleshoot EFI problems. So, you know, but that that's an add-on EFI system to a car that can't generate any trouble codes or anything to point you in the right direction. So, you know, it's not quite the same world. This, uh, anything with an OBD scanner is going to generate a code generally that'll point you in the right direction for troubleshooting, which is way more useful. But this unit can do all of that, um, which is really cool. So, Anyways, yeah, I'm a big fan. I don't really have any codes. I don't need to do any of the tests or anything, so I don't have a lot else to show you here. But if you're familiar with these OBD2 scanners, like this has all the basic functions that are common between most units. But that live streaming data is really the key here. So anyways, I hope you like it. Um, I'm a fan of this unit. This is really cool and unique. So I would, I would highly recommend it. I have not seen another one that will do that in this package. So anyways, hope that helps. Uh, take care.